Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online on the Legendary server. This episode was supposed to go out yesterday. Uh, as you may have noticed, there was no video up last night. Apologies for that. I was unfortunately very, very busy. By the time I got home, it was like nearly 10 o'clock, and there's no way I can record at that time, really. So, uh... Here it is. I'm thinking I might do a double episode day uh, just to catch myself up so I do still have the right amount of videos, um, but probably not today, I'll be honest. So uh, maybe in the coming weeks or coming days, maybe next week, something like that. I've got to turn that on. Uh, before we get into this, we do have our hobby gift of the day. We have a solo instance to go with Radagast 4. Uh, so run speed boost, <laughs> not amazing, but not terrible at the same time. Are you prepared to leave? I am. Good, we must go at once. I fear time is running short for our young Eglane friends. The instance can only be completed solo. We chose the solo one. We are not going to be in a fellowship. That's relatively easy for us, so let's go. The Gaunt Lord Ivar spreads corruption through Agarmor, the Red Swamp, raising a host of evil to do the bidding of Angmar. Oh, cool. We get, uh, we get inspiration for this, which is really, really good. Um, so, yeah. I was a little bit worried for a moment because I was like, we're still not great on our gear. I am working on it. I, got, I went around the Shire on my, uh, what is going to end up being my main pretty much, uh, on Anor. And um, I went around the Shire, grabbed 150 copper. That's enough to get Prospector maxed out. Um, I haven't got it for this character, obviously. I've got it for that character just so I can be making stuff and uh, still collecting things in the meantime. But uh, I will be getting another 150 and... Uh, you know, getting that sorted as well. You have 6k health. I mean, at least we were doing like, I don't know what insp uh, Inspired Greatness, 225% uh, percent damage, and then we get a bit of, uh, well, we got 300% morale, and then what, 200% power? So that's kind of nice. Oh, the uh, they're allies of Radagast, not of, <laughs> of the tree. Oh no, that was completely the wrong skill. I was trying to use Let's Fly then, honestly. Okay. This is what happens when I take a day off. I forget completely how to play this character. Doesn't help that I've also been playing on the same server a, uh, a hunter now. Hey, we got a deed. Bog Lurker Slayer. So yeah, once we take these out, it just might make it a little bit quicker for us to uh, get through the rest of it. Just because, you know, unless it spawns back, which is entirely possible. Because it might be like a scripted enemy that then spawns back after the fact. Right. What are you attacking? Are you attacking that? Done. Did it. <laughs> Happy. So I am hoping, considering we are very close bonus XP wise uh, to it, to possibly be able to level up today. Um, if not, tomorrow, or next episode rather, at the very latest. Uh, because, I mean, it's we're probably only going to be able to do the instance today as a, just the one thing, and then that'll probably be it for now. Um, I am just hoping... You know, it might, it probably isn't enough XP, but I don't know, maybe we'll get at least a decent chunk. We also do have the extra 25% bonus, so that can help, but I don't know if that's on quests or not. Monster kills, crafting, quest completion, legendary item, and mounted, uh, mounted combat XP. Yeah, so we should all be fine. What is our, uh, I was going to say, what's our uh, morale regen? And our power regen? 32k, 33k, so roughly the same. Does it increase? No, it doesn't increase, like, our base stats. Just our pure damage. Because what this is like. Okay, maybe not. Come on. I'm probably not doing this great, because I'm supposed to be using... I should be using, like, my AoE skills. Like, boom, boom, and then at least that kills the red uh, creeping root. A little bit. Unless they parry it, which they're totally doing. Hey, I got a Traveler Steel Panel loot box. Who'd have thought? That's like number 72 or something in recent memory. 
Maybe we'll get some good drops, like armor drops. They're not humanized though, so I don't think humanized, non-humanized drop uh, weapons and armor. Not entirely sure. I know they don't drop scroll cases. It's only humanoids that drop scroll cases. Hey, these guys are humanoids. It's perfect. So, these guys are like... At least a little bit easier to deal with. Also, they give us enmity and the uh, deed for the White Slayer in the Lone Lands. So that's always nice. And we also get rep from these guys. And skull items, which is nice. So yeah, always, obviously, uh, still keeping these to send over when and if needed. For when I eventually get around to making my scholar. Which might take a moment. Right. With some killing the, those things, you're just talking. Are you going to help? Are you going to summon things to... This is not good at all. No, it's not. You want to help? I mean, that dazes you, doesn't it? Does that not daze you? That's upsetting. I probably could have gotten away with missing this, uh, <laughs> this uh, Twisted Blood Maple. Probably could have gotten away with it. Alright. Like that, I can probably get away with not killing that one. Just these guys. Unless you're specifically going... Oh, you're going for the squirrel. So you are going to go there. I mean, I respect it. I'm going to let you aggro. Oh, just give me morale. Sure. Just, just, yeah, it's fine. I, I'm not judging. Just give me things. Yeah, even with like 225% extra damage, it's still taking far too long for my liking. So yeah, we really need to get on the uh, whole uh, crafting grind. Like, I'm pretty sure even like melee weapons level 10, this is probably... Okay, it's not better, but that's literally only like 20 or 18 levels below us. So, I mean... That's gonna, it's gonna turn out good in the end. We just need to get those little requirements. I mean, they are giving me 408 experience each. So, I mean, that's good. It means I feel a bit more lucky about us getting that level today. Just from quest completion, also just generally enemy defeats throughout. Quite an crossman there, of, of just puke. That was not fun. I really kind of wish Radagast did a bit more than just sort of that. I don't know if he's actually doing any damage. Tempted to just let him do it on his own and see. I mean, I could, that's that's nice. We got White Slayer. Nice. Uh, five Lotcher Points, an Enemy of the Dead, Reputation, Tile Awarded, and a Rip Thing. Or not a Rip Thing, a thing to get a Virtue. Not a great one for us, but it's pretty good. Now, I want to know how this is going to go. I mean, I got plus five hope, that's nice. Okay, you're literally just not doing anything. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, I don't judge you. Well, I do judge you, but I'm a little, just, just a little upset. It's fine, I can take these guys out. I mean, I've got a maximum of eight targets on that, maximum of five, I think I should be good. I think I shall be fine. One more. And there we go. No. Are you the one that I talked to last time? I mean, this I know for a fact is where, like, the next area is. Like, we push forward to this area. Because there's, like, people up here to go quest and Radagast goes in the ancient tower. Spoilers, but that's what happens. Oh. 
okay. Defeat Nevin. Nevin orders my me to hold my post, but I must obey. He is our commander. I'm under his charge, and as are my men. Okay. Down through here, then. Should we see if we can just ignore these? <laughs> Probably can't. Nope. Guess not. Uh, yeah, there's nothing on the map as well. Mm. I just wonder if I can get through here without... Uh, worrying too much about it. Oh, really? Okay. I mean, we won't die, but it's just a bit of a pain to actually do. There we are, another Traveler's Bounds uh, loot box. And where am I going to? Oh, my mouse is stuck. I, like, I don't know is that. Okay, that's who I'm after. That's fine. At least I know where I'm going now. Yeah, I was going to say, is this increase... Is that based on your max morale, I take it? Okay, I feel like you're going to talk to me. I also feel like I want to get a screenshot. Just like that. It will not matter. Soon I shall claim your bones for Ivar and the Red Maid. This is where I'd normally set up a trap if I was a hunter, but not in this situation. It's fine. I keep, like, not getting used to the fact that uh, Battle Frenzy only gives me one further every 30 seconds later on. You can just upgrade it to be more. Um, I think we can probably find it on here. Um, is, it, is it here? Or is it this one? Yeah, Battle Frenzy. So plus three and then there's rank four is uh, Battle Frenzy restores one further every, t every second over ten seconds. Um, and then it's plus three further as well. Thank you. <laughs> I defeated Nevin before I defeated the other guy. <laughs> nice. But uh, yeah, that's something we do want to go for eventually. It's not that far away. Oh, we can actually probably get it today. Um, do that, and then that. There we are. At least we get two further now. Hey. So we get a boost of... Adds four to further initially, and then... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. And then, yeah, it's very useful. And we also got this for an extra amount. So that now goes to nine instead of eight. Follow the shades deep into Agamar. Okay. It's turning out to be a relatively long one. Where are we going? Um, this way? At least I've got guys helping me now. And Battle Frenzy's ready. To use. Oh, I'm... Now I can attack. Come on. Help me, ravens. Oh, oh. Calm down. These ravens are pretty powerful. There are others like you ahead. Oh, 
Fair enough. I felt like that was a bit out of order then. Okay. Since the journey ahead is nearly end, rest now and speak to El Elsa to learn more what you may of her battles. Her insight may prove useful, helpful in the fight ahead. Um, the water, the whites, the forest itself, you cannot be beaten by my meager force, and I fear there is something more harm more terrible within the ruins to the north. I know there's little time before the great evil spills forth from Garth Argoan. Our only hope is Radagast. Okay. Aid Radagast. I was going to say, we might as well just get in to the same area as the Grasping Hands. Just to get him off that quickly. And yeah, I still think, what? Well, 3k XP? I think it's possible. There we are. And here's what they were talking about, about the, uh, the water. Just need to survive. I think it's pretty difficult to die when you have um, inspiration on just because of the sheer max morale and also the amount of um, in combat regen, how much it gets increased. I think it's you'd have to try to die with inspiration, I think. Knowing that, I'm now going to end up dying. Oh, he's got enemies to kill. Damn it. They don't aggro him, though. Suspicious. These guys are just really annoying because they, like, go underwater all the time. And we just kind of have to wait for them to come up. Or actually might die. <laughs> I hope I don't. It'd be very embarrassing if I do. Hey, it's over. The Fool in Brown. Okay, you. I trust in the secret fire. You have no power over me. Okay. That's us finished then. This creature commands great power, but against a heart full of hope and trust in one's allies, such power means nothing. I came too late to breathe, and too early to Weathertop, where beyond my aid, the Witch King and his minions attacked Frodo, wounding him with a Morgul blade. Thankfully, Aragorn was there to save him. And now this is an area of us just uh, sort of surviving. We have some new quests and stuff to give in, but uh, we won't do those today. All right, let's go talk to Radagast, and uh, then we'll be done for today. And I feel like they just reused the same model. <laughs> right. Uh, what do we say? Do we want to go with that for the extra might and vitality? Oh, we lose its vitality though. Ooh. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I think I'll go for that because at least we get the extra might. I must bid you farewell for now. 
Okay. And that's not actually as good, but maybe. And we have a few other things. Uh, so, we'll pop those on later. For now, though, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one where we're going to talk to Elsa and uh, clean up the area, I guess. All right. Bye-bye.